What's going on guys, it's Joe Metlow with Next Level Auto Detail and today we are actually giving some paint correction to my 997. Uh, I'm at home right now, we are in my personal garage and uh, we're going to be talking about a very important subject. When you are performing paint correction on a lighter colored vehicle, especially metallic type of paint jobs, identifying defects could be very difficult. So look at the defects there now the garage door is open you see our paint correction lights up there now you could see some light scratches and swirl marks but watch the difference when I close the garage door now obviously you could see all the defects now now why that's happening is when you open up the garage door, more light comes in. And when more light comes in, it's competing with your direct light source over there. So having that direct source of light really, really highlights the, the defects. So the best way to highlight defects on lighter colored vehicles is to actually work in a dark room and just have your correction lights. That way you could see all the defects. So the common misconception is that you need more light, more light. And that is true when you're doing interior and other cases. But in most cases, you'll see a lot of detailers working in a dark room with just their paint correction lights. And that is the best way to truly identify uh, the true condition of any paint job. So we'll open up the garage door one more time. You can see how the defects... Look at that. Well, that looks pretty good. I guess we don't have to polish it anymore, right? <laughs> so yeah, when you're working on lighter colored paint jobs, especially metallic type paint jobs, you guys, you could see that. It, it looks like we polished it. So we'll close it one more time. And it doesn't look so good anymore, does it? So uh, I'm giving some love to the 997. Obviously, I never have time uh, to do my own vehicles. And when I do have free time, obviously, I like to spend that with my family. This, now, this theory just doesn't work with being indoors as well. Sometimes outside could be so bright that even on black vehicles, it doesn't even show the true condition of the paint because it could even drown out even the worst condition of black paint. Then when you bring it into the shop, it's much, much worse. Um, but working on lighter metallic cars, lighter cars, pulling it outside in the sun, it's going to look good. And then your client is going to think that, hey, the car really doesn't need that much. But bring it in the shop, turn the lights off, put on your correction lights, and you will see the true condition of the paint. Now, like I was stating earlier, that depending on the time of day, the overcast, if there's no overcast and the sun really is out in the sky, again, it's gonna wash everything out and you are not going to be able to see the defects. And that's true even on black vehicles sometimes. So the best way to uh, tell the true condition of a car is to bring it in, turn off all the lights, put on your correction lights, show the client what's really going on. That way you're not gonna run into any problems. Now, uh, I always run into this with lighter colored vehicles. I'll give you one example of uh, recently that happened uh, about a month ago. I did a, uh, a 550 Marinello, one of my favorite Ferraris, it was yellow. My client actually thought that it was in phenomenal condition and it really, really wasn't. And when you looked at it in the sun, the car looked great. I mean, you would have to bob and weave and only the most uh, stubborn of detailers would be able to highlight the defects. But once, you, once I brought it in the shop, turned off all the lights, it was a completely different story. Now, no matter how much I pulled it out in the sun and looked over it, the car looked good. It looked almost flawless. So my client actually did believe that it was in good condition, but uh, again, it still needed to be fixed like black paint. So these lighter colored vehicles, they scratch the same as black. It's just black showcases and highlights those defects a lot more than any lighter colored vehicles can. So silver cars, white cars, they all scratch the same as black. It's just black, it's so much easier to notice. So I hope you guys did appreciate the video. I just wanted to make that quick video to help some of you guys that way, that way you guys don't uh, underestimate a job. 
because again, I, I've been there and it's not fun. So uh, always be on the same page as your client. Uh, truly inspect the vehicle condition before you jump into conclusions. Just because it's outside and you know, you're know you looking at it in the sun, oh, it's not that bad. And then when you bring it in, it's a whole different ball game. So always properly inspect your uh, your paint before you start any, any process. And uh, for you mobile detailers out there, that, that's very, very hard to do. Um, because again, you're always working outside. So uh, just do the best that you can and, uh, and always properly inspect. And if your client does have a garage, ask to utilize it to bring it in so you could properly inspect it. And uh, again, just do the best that you guys can. So I always give credit to all you mobile guys out there. I'm working in my garage now and I absolutely hate it. Obviously we don't have AC in here. And uh, yeah, it's not fun. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a like, give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel grow. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down and tell me why. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. I gotta get this thing done. I'll see you next time.